Alright guys, I'm recording this video on my balcony uh, and we're going to be talking about the side effects of lucid dreaming but before we do that, let me just show you this sunset because it's beautiful Beautiful sunset Lovely colours Alright, so the side effects of lucid dreaming are pretty simple They do exist and they usually they're pretty similar for everyone and the side effects are, firstly, you're going to want to sleep and dream more. This can lead to you feeling like you want to do things in waking life a bit less. Again, these, are not, these aren't for everyone, right? But for a lot of people, this is the case. So you can want to sort of sleep and dream more. This might interfere with your personal life a bit. The second one is if you have things like false awakenings and lucid nightmares. These things are obviously unpleasant. Nobody wants to have a lucid nightmare or a false awakening. There are ways around it and ways of avoiding them. But in general, like by dabbling in lucid dreaming, you're going to interfere more with things like sleep paralysis. You're going to experience more false awakenings and obviously more lucid nightmares. This is just sort of one of the side effects that most people... I'm next to an airport, by the way. So that's why the sound is a bit off. I'll wait for it to go away. One way down. So yeah, lucid nightmares are something that's just, they just happen if you learn lucid dreaming, right? It's just one of the side effects. The third side effect, and this is kind of, this varies depending on, you know, person to person, but you might start wanting to experiment with supplements, herbs, and substances that will sort of aid your lucid dream life. Now, I don't know why, it's not really a side effect as such, it's just like something to be aware of, is that you might be starting to think, I wonder what would happen if I tried this supplement or this substance, this herb, and uh, you can start to go down that road. And uh, just as long as you're careful to research things and look at the interactions, and obviously consult people that have done it beforehand, then you'll be fine. Okay, um, but you know, obviously do your own research. Like for example, I wasn't aware the effects of Kalia Z would be quite intense. You know, when I first tried that. So just be aware of the substances you're taking. Do your own research, and that way you'll be you'll pretty much be fine. The next one is, as a lucid dreamer, right? It involves being self-aware and increasing your awareness. The side effect of that is that you're gonna start, you're gonna start to question more than just your dreams. You know, you're gonna start to question everything. Like, are you happy in your current friendships or your job or, you know, whatever it is you're doing, you're gonna start to question everything because you're that much more aware. And so, that's why I feel like it should be listed as a side effect because you might end up changing your entire life. You know, it might come to change everything about you. And it's not usually when it happens like that, you know, when lucid dreaming changes you, it's always for the better, right? You know, it always makes you open your eyes and become more aware of things like what you're eating, you know, whether you're happy at work, whether you're happy in your relationship. It, it makes you more aware of these things. But it's certainly a side effect that most beginning lucid dreamers aren't aware of. So. The last one, and this isn't really a side effect as such, but it should be in this list anyway, and that is that when you explain lucid dreaming to your friends, when you talk about what you're doing, and when you explain how it all works and what it is you spend your time doing, they might think you're a bit crazy. And that's not because you are, okay? That's not because there's anything inherently wrong with lucid dreaming, it's just because it's not widely accepted in society. You know, especially in the Western world, it's just still quite a niche subject. There aren't massive communities around it, and although the subreddit for lucid dreaming has got a few hundred thousand members, compared to the millions, you know, you know, tens of millions of people that could be interested in it, that have the internet and that want to learn about consciousness and psychology, that's really quite a small number. So the, the result of that is that most people you tell things about lucid dreaming to, they're gonna think you're a bit crazy. They, it's not that they, not that they really think you're crazy they just don't understand it right so you need to explain it to them so one of the side effects is that you're going to have to explain probably more than you think to your friends and family about what it is you're doing about lucid dreaming and you know about how it works and that sort of thing now as you can probably tell there isn't really a great place to film in the locations i've been staying in they've always they've always been sort of noisy or the lighting's been bad it's never really been the best of both this location has great lighting as you can see i'm outside in the balcony but the sound, the sound isn't great because Thailand's noisy. <laughs> there's a lot of noise. I'm near an airport, there's cars outside, there's water running, speakers, everything like that. Please bear with me. I will be back to the daily videos soon, I promise. But I've just been very busy with other things. And by the time I get back from doing like a day of activities, you know, filming from my other vlog, I'm pretty tired. 
So I'm gonna to aim to do at least one or two videos a week for How To Lucid YouTube channel. If you want to stay more up to date with what I'm doing, please go and subscribe to Transcend Your Limits. The link is in the description and also in my sidebar of, the, of my actual channel, How To Lucid. Um, you can also find my Instagram as well, at Transcend Limits. Not Transcend Your Limits, because that was taken. Transcend Limits. And uh, there should be a link to that in my other channel's description. Very complicated, I know. But we'll be back on track very soon. I will try and make a video tomorrow, but again, I can't promise anything. Leave a comment letting me know what you think of the sunset, which I'll now show you again. Also, feel free to leave a comment about the actual video. I just, you know, I figured the sunset might be more emotionally invoking. And that's it. That's it for now, guys. Done.